Student, today we are going to see real depth and apparent depth derivation. Okay, the relation between real depth, apparent depth and refractive index. That is the relation we are going to see. Okay, so imagine the object, some uh, coin or some object is inside the water. Okay, so the object is present inside the water. So the object is present at here. Okay, when we are looking at perpendicular, okay, there is no deviation in its light path. It will be travel like this. Okay. When we are looking at some angle, okay, the light is traveling from denser medium to rarer medium. The light is deviated away from its path. Suppose the light has to travel like this, it will deviate away from the path because of the light is traveling denser to rarer medium. Okay, so this I am taken angle of incident. It is which one is present in the water. Okay, this one I am taken angle of refraction. Okay. Uh, it is in a air medium. Okay, it is a denser medium, rare medium, air, air medium. Okay, the real depth, the apparent depth. Okay, so the ob object which one placed inside the water is going to shift at some distance. Okay, so because of refraction of the light, the shift will be happen from the object the real position and apparent position will be get changed. Okay, so suppose you place the object here, the image will be formed here when you are looking outside from the water. Okay. So, this is called real depth, actual depth, okay. So, we can take it, this as a real depth. And from the surface, image appearance place, we can take it as a apparent depth, okay. So, this is what we are going to discuss now. We know already snail's law, okay. Snail's law, mu of first medium to second medium, refractive index of first medium with respect to second medium is a sin i by sin r. Here, first medium is a uh, air water medium, second medium is a air medium is equal to sin i by sin r. According to the reversibility principle, 1 to 2, it's 2 to 1 is equal to 1. Okay. So, here 1 is a first medium is a air medium, second medium is a water medium, water medium to air medium is equal to 1. Okay. Now, we have water medium to air medium. We are going to find air medium to water medium because absolute refractive index always less than 1, uh, greater than 1. The first medium, we have to take it as a air medium. That is 1 divided by water to air. So, already we, we know water to air is sin i by sin r. Okay. So, I got 1 divided by sin i by sin r. So, sin r, you can take it as a numerator. Okay. So, mu of a to W, refractive index of air to water, a water with respect to the air, sin R divided by sin I. So, this only we got from the diagram, okay. Now, we have to relate with real depth and apparent depth, okay. So, again, we have to look at the diagram, okay. So, now I am taking this as a A, this as a B, okay. So, angle, angle, we, we can take it this as a incident angle. So, this angle is equal to this angle. It is an incident angle. Okay. This as a refracted angle. That angle is equal to this angle R. Okay. So, now we have the two triangle. One is a OAB. Another one is a IAB. Okay. So, uh, one triangle is like this. OAB. Another triangle like this. IAB. IAB. It is a real depth. And this is a apparent depth. And it is angle of I, it is angle of R. Okay, now again, for first we will take it, uh, uh, it is a bigger angle. Okay, it is uh, this angle OAB. Sin I is equal to, opposite is AB. Our hypotenuse is, uh, it is uh, OA. Sorry, OB. Okay, sin R, it's small triangle. Okay, this is sin R triangle. Okay, so opposite is again AB. Hypotenuse is IB. Okay. So, like this we can, we got. Okay. So, now we know, we already, we have the equation, refractive index of A to W. Refractive index of A to W is a sin R by sin I. Okay. Here, what is sin R? So, sin R is, a, it is AB divide, divided by IB. Sin I is a AB divided by OB. So, just I am doing as a cross multiplication, AB divided by IB. So, denominator, denominator, I am taken as a numerator. So, OB divided by AB. AB, AB get cancelled. So, we will get the answer as a refractive index of A to W. That means A to water. <coughs> A to water. OB divided by IB. OB divided by 
IB. So OB from here to here we can take it as a o, it is a OB and IB from here to here IB from here to here OB okay. So this angle is very very small okay I am taken is less than 5 degree okay that is the time OB is approximately equal to OB is approximately equal to OA okay because it's going to come very closer this length is very very small okay OB is approximately equal to OA okay which one is a real depth. IB is approximately equal to IA. IB is approximately equal to IA. Which one we can call it is the apparent depth. Okay. So this one we can take it as a real depth. And this one we can take it as a apparent depth. Okay. That means a refractive index of A to W water. It is a apparent real depth by OA is a real depth. OB is a real depth. Real depth by apparent depth. Okay, reason it is a OB, we can take it as a OA, IB, we can take it as a IA. Real depth by apparent depth, we can take it as a refractive index. Okay, now equation is going to continue, what is the shift is going to produce? Okay, so shift means IO is the distance of shift. Okay, OI also, OI is the distance of shift. That we can take it as a, it is AO minus AI, AO minus AI. AO is a real depth, okay, real depth minus apparent depth, this one we can take it as a shift, okay, now I am going to take it real depth as outside, so if you, if here we, there is no real depth, just I am multiplying and dividing, you can do real depth multiple and divide, okay, real depth and real depth, you can take it as a common, so real depth is equal to 1 minus apparent depth by real depth. So apparent depth from numerator, I am bringing as a denominator, denominator, so real depth 1 minus 1 divided by real depth by apparent depth. So real depth by apparent depth we can take it as a refractive index. Real depth is the depth of the lake or depth of the uh, water okay. So it, otherwise the thickness of the water d t anything you can take it okay. So real depth I am taken as the thickness okay otherwise depth. So shift is equal to shift is equal to real depth we are taken as thickness or depth of the lake okay 1 divided by uh, 1 minus 1 divided by refractive index of A to W, okay. According if uh, any other than water, water uh, refractive index means according to the liquid you can change it as a refractive index, okay. This is the shift, it is going to rise from uh, depth to some height, okay. That is the relation between real depth, apparent depth, shift. Thank you for watching my channel. If you like my channel, please subscribe.